Where are we? An RPG? A ghost to- oh god, we're in tr oh no, Paladin! Your holy smites the person down! It's Clara! Oh, alright, you're probably not going to be able to then, Paladin. What? Start! It is Antique Paladin's turn. Okay, come on, cast something holy. Magic! Oh, come on, you can't attack a ghost! I've played RPGs, you do not have enough mana. Oh, for god- <sighs> Defense increased. Ghost attacks? Hits quite hard then. Good. Uh, <laughs> holy shit. Has been defeated. Uh oh. How can Clara be here? I don't know. It is Adrian's turn. Well, I don't want to die, and this one says special. You do not have enough stat. Oh, for God's sake. Attack! Miss. Yeah, I figured that would be the case. Loses! Ghost attacks! Well, I'm hoping we get a game restart. Adrian has been defeated. Adrian! It is Hannah's turn. Don't have enough? Yeah, no, I didn't think so. Defend! Wait, wait, no! Ghost attacks. Thump. Yeah. Game over. All party members are dead. Game over. I swear, you better not fucking go to the screen. You better not just close again, game. Damn it, this is so difficult to record. Ah, all right, be right back once the game's open. I may not be observant all the time, but I feel something here has changed. Ahem. This tarot card will be an interpretation of your future. Wait a minute, what happened? I was in another game for a second and now I'm back here. So you remember last time when we went downstairs? Yeah, where's Hannah? Oh, Hannah? She has no face. That's generally speaking a problem. Have you been seeing an other women? <laughs> ah, Rebecca, what's wrong, Adrian? What's wrong? Please say that. Oh dear. I guess someone forgot to include her face assets with the rest of her. Hello, Adrian. I'm so glad you're back. I'm not. Why not sit down? Relax, stay. I've been so lonely since my husband died. Uh, okay, well, calling for help's not getting anywhere. We've sort of seen what our wife looks like. Um, plead and reason with. Please, think about it. What good will killing me do? Don't worry, you won't really be dead. You'll just be, well, unable to leave. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, when you put it like that, it sounds so much better. And I want that very much, Adrian. Why me? Because you're not like the others here. Your mind is complex. It's not made up of the same ones and zeros that Rebecca's is. So you're staying here, Adrian. You're staying here forever. Even if it means I have to use force. Still a bit weird. Tell me, Adrian, do you know how difficult it is to crash a game? <sighs> yes! All I have to do is say stuff that I wouldn't have otherwise said. I'll tell you. No effort whatsoever. Oh. Okay. Encountered unexpected file. I've got you, Adrian PNG. I mean, this isn't what the Rempai crash system looks like, so it's not a real crash. <laughs> Hidden file found in log. Can you read this, Adrian? It's me, Simon. Do you remember? We don't know how you're going to receive this message or in what form. Go to the game folder and open the for Adrian.rpy. Open it in notepad or whatever you can use. You'll find further instructions there. Good luck, Simon. For <laughs> Adrian.rpy. <laughs> okay, sure, why not? I'll see you once I've opened it. Hang on, I said quit and it's running away, are we? Uh, yes. <sighs> I wish it would stop doing that. Okay, for Adrian.rpy. Here we go. Okay, so it's quite long, so you can't see all of it. <laughs> Uh, like this bit here. So these go on, so I have to read those. Adrian, this is a bypass to Clara.exe. We've pinpointed her as the problem. Oh, really? I've set this small crack, but I need you to set it from wherever you are. I've tried to make the code as simple as I could for you. We just need you to follow, to set the following switch from false to true. 
Label hacker setup stop Clara false jump backwards. Important. Make sure you get the uppercases right. You have to use true because true is not enough. Now, hopefully that will add a new button for you. Be careful, Adrian. Clara's been able to jump between games, I've noticed. But hopefully she won't be able to detect this tiny, tiny file. Hopefully she's not standing behind you. Don't look. Don't take your eyes off this page. Off the safe glow of the monitor. I'm going to look behind me. Okay, there's nothing there. Good, good, good. You might look behind you and see a cosy room forgetting that it's... Oh, wait, no, hang on. The comforting shapes of the letters making up this sentence. This is safe, what's behind you isn't. Hopefully she's not standing behind you. You know, he did that. Why did I even mention that? Stupid. Keep reading these words. If you stop to look behind you, you may forget that you're in a game. You might look behind you and see a cosy room forgetting this fake of my words are real. Pretty soon you might find yourself doubting what is reality and what isn't. Just remember when the something is real or not, it doesn't matter here, the consequences are the same. What you need to realise is that you are not where you're meant to be. We made a horrible mistake, a mistake that is preventing you from coming home. I'm sorry, I'm so, so sorry. Okay, so we need to go for stop underscore Clara. Okay, sweet, uh, I'll... <laughs> we'll do that then. Uh, we'll, I'll, I'll... We'll see you when I'm there, okay? Right, so the problem I'm having is that I don't know where I'm supposed to put in that bit of code. I mean, that folder seems like a weird place to put that code, but I just changed it there. Here's hoping for the best. If this is the same, hang on. So at the moment, settings, skip only scene messages. Okay, so we'll just skip. Fuck. It doesn't say where to change it. Because exactly, oh right, now we get a bypass. And before we couldn't bypass, right, okay, I see. That's not good. That's someone smashing it. What are you doing? Stop it! No, 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 no! Okay, so we, okay, this is good. Why do I feel that's not the last we've seen of her? What happened? What's happening? I'm back in the mansion now, but now, now, now I'm just feeling, so, now I'm just feeling so sleepy. They're waking up! Oh god. Was this Tron all along? Thank goodness. What? I opened my eyes and found myself in a sterile white room. I was sitting in a strange, expensive looking chair with wires attached to me. Expensive looking chair? It looks something like a knockoff dentist would buy. I turned my head to Fraction to see that Hannah was sitting next to me, her chair closer to a wall. There were several people in white lab coats standing over us looking relieved. Where were we? Who were these people? We're sending a nurse to give you a checkup. All your vitals are showing you as normal as on the machine, but we want to make sure. I looked down at his name tag, Simon. Then it all started coming back to me. Redacted Comp- Redacted Life was a company that was trying out a new form of virtual reality gaming. <laughs> so it was school life romance, was it? Using this technology, people could plug their consciousness directly into a game of their choice. The program then made the player forget their real life, replacing it with fictional game protagonist backstory until they finished the game or their timed gaming session ran out. I had volunteered to beta test this virtual reality program. So had Hannah. Unfortunately, something went wrong with the machine. Simon filled Hannah and me on what had happened. Instead of kicking the two of us out on the server after our allotted time, we stayed where we were. Basically, stayed asleep for several hours, trapped. During those hours, Simon and his colleagues had been frantically trying to pull our minds out of the program, but had been unable to due to the temperamental... The machine was, okay. So a ghost had gotten into your machine and fucked us. That's quite bad. Doing anything too drastic would have been too risky for our own safety, but may have even resulted in Hannah and me permanently losing our minds altogether. But that's not even the worst part. On top of all that, one of the characters, Clara, had seemed to develop her own AI and had become hostile. Tried to crash the system and kill us by bringing the games to an end state. Whether we lost or won the game didn't matter. Either would have ended in the games crashing and us dying. Luckily, Simon was unable to inject a mod into the program in the hope that it would have woken me, woken up Hannah and me. Isn't that like... 
the basis to Mog World. You're a character who realised, not quite obviously, because in here they're the enemy, but you're the character who defies programming and realises that it's not a g it is a get. oh no, th that whatever, it's, it's amusing. It just sounds like the premise from Mogworld. He called it Paladin.exe. This mod had unexpectedly taken the form of a suit and armour and only caused Hannah and me to jump between games rather than jump out of the games altogether. Irony, eh? Luckily, we were able to hack our way out. We did die, but... <laughs> Disturbingly, though, they still weren't sure what exactly caused Clara or the program to change. A ghost in the machine, I guess. Let's see what we did there. I left the building. Oh, God. She's fucking gonna show up again. You know it. I'd had enough checkups and tests. Hannah and I were just fine. As I walked to the front steps, I could see that the sun was setting. It'd be hard for me to describe how that one particular sunset looked to me. I stirred up so many feelings in me that I wouldn't have been able to put it into words. I wouldn't know where to start. I'd just end up saying it's not blue. You know what I mean? It was a good sunset. It was something special. It was real. I saw Hannah walk past me. She began walking down the stairs. Hey. Oh, right. Okay, I was thinking Hannah is my wife, but that was Rebecca, wasn't it? That's why Hannah knew. Got it. She stopped, turned around to face me, then walked back up to the five steps she'd made. Hey, uh, is your name really Hannah? Yes, but my hair's dyed. Turns out I'm not natural pink. <laughs> Funny that. Is your name really Adrian? Yeah, but Rebecca wasn't real. Hey, what are you going to do right now? Uh, probably get fucked by Clara. Redacted life. I don't know, to be honest. Cards on the table? I don't either. What do you do after you brush with death? I shrugged. Keep living? What about... Her sentence strayed away and it looked like her mind was beginning to wander, then something made her snap out of it. Have you learned anything from this? Huh? Have you learned something? Is this where Clara has somehow infiltrated fucking Hannah? She didn't say it as if she was annoyed or angry, more playful than anything. But she looked at me in a way that told me my answer was really, really important to her for something. For some reason. Well? And it's better to live a real, normal life than an exotic fake one. Don't know about that. Well, I'm glad I'm alive and living your fantasy isn't as cracked up as I thought. Th it's neither of these things that I'm a glad I'm alive and real. Yep, that's a good point. I'm glad I'm alive too. I guess that is an important lesson. Valuing yourself. Being able to take control of your life. I mean, even if you have something controlling you, like fate or a hard situation, or controlling parents or something, you can still take action against it. Controlling parents. You really are that young. Take action. What are you staring at? Do you want to meet up again sometime? No, not to just play a virtual reality game, of course, but you know, just meet up. This is the point where we ask for a drink, mate. Are you doing anything? And then you walk off into the sunset and Clara looks at us. I, I'll give you my email. That's, that's always a no when someone gives you an email. And she did. Is there more? The end. There we go. I'm totally not expecting something else to pop up now. Ah, this is quite a neat transition. What are you going to say? Well... It looks like Clara had led to the destruction of this game. The scientists will wipe us from the server. We're too dangerous. Clara became too sentient in AI. She wasn't happy. Me, I was satisfied tarot readings doing the same actions, saying the same lines of dialogue, the same words of exposition. It was nice. I just wanted to entertain. Do you want to do it all again from the very beginning? You have the power to do that, you know? That's right. I'm not talking to Adrian. I'm talking to you. Can you not open your eyes as creepily as that? What do you say? Would you like me to reset everything? I would have to get rid of your save file. No. How odd. You'd rather keep your save file? You'd rather keep a road you've already visited? I guess perhaps you're a little like me. Sentimental. I'll be here if you change your mind. Farewell. He turned into a skeleton before dying. Oh. So hang on, what happens if I start? Am I still in that weird save file? No, okay, we're just back at the start, sweet. What happens if you reset? 
Uh, I'll tell you what, you guys can figure that out. The link in the description to get this game is below, so you can download and play it. <laughs> this was like a really neat game. Uh, hang on, how do we go back to the main menu? Settings... it doesn't say, whatever. This is a really neat game, which I imagine was somewhat difficult to do as well. Which is neat as hell. Like, the, the way that it just sort of like broke and then you launched and it was another game. That's cool! Oh, this is an awesome Nano Renner game. My name's Bintonarium. Link to download this is in the description below. And I'll see you all in the next Nano Renner game. Have fun.